We're gonna be starting this on an 11 by 14 canvas, and you're gonna need one large blending brush of your choice just for creating the background. Here's uh, the colors we're gonna be using, and I'm gonna list them all below in the description. You'll need two kinds of reds, a light blue violet, titanium white, burnt umber, and black. I'm gonna take both white and light blue violet and just start pulling across the canvas. And I want to concentrate on almost the middle of the canvas where the horizon is. We're gonna put the horizon just below halfway and I'm gonna add more blue there, making it just a little bit deeper and richer in color. Now that we've got a nice base, I'm gonna take a little bit more of my blue and I'm gonna add a line right where I want the horizon to be. So it's gonna be just below halfway, the halfway mark. So I'm gonna pull and slide my brush, trying to do this in one stroke. And then I'm gonna blend my brush out a little bit below, creating soft little slopes and peaks and shadows and highlights in the foreground. Okay, it's time to start coming in with our trees now. You'll need a long liner brush, lots of water on your brush, and mix a bit of burnt umber with your light blue violet. Mix the two, and like I said, make sure you have a lot of water on your brush so that you can um, pull and flick and help that paint flow easily out of your brush. We'll paint a few different trees by pulling and flicking gently, wisping little short flicks to create all those little branches. Um, we don't wanna have our trees too, too dark in this picture, so I'm not using any of my black, and I'm not using straight burnt umber either. I really like um, the tone. I got by taking a little bit of that uh, blue violet. It kind of makes the trees look really, really soft and almost um, one with the sky and the foreground. And it helps to uh, just draw our eyes into what we want the viewer to see, which is the red barn. So we'll just create a few more trees here and then we'll move on and add um, a few little lines just for an old leaning little fence. I'm going to add a few little um, flicks with my brush here, little lines for either some little wispy looking branches or some tall grass. And here we go in and like on an angle coming from the side from the far right, we're going to just add a few little crooked. They don't have to be perfectly straight. They're leaning. This is an old fence. This is going to add character to our, character to our painting. So don't worry about making everything even and perfect. It always just adds character when you have something leaning or crooked in your painting. And I'm taking the same colors I used for my trees, and then I'm gonna come in with thick amounts of white so it looks like that snow is really 3D. And you're just gonna, and I'm using heavy bodied acrylics today, so it really helps to create that 3D look if you wanna use thick paint, um, kind of just to create that textured uh, look in your paintings. And I'm not using any water on my brush when I'm applying the white. So I'm going to add a few little hints here and there on the trees for a little bit of snow as well. And then a shadow on um, the right side of these little fence posts. Again, just using my blue and my burnt umber. And then pulling and flicking that little uh, line through boards or wire that connect all those little posts. I'm going to make a little shadow at the base of some of these um, fence posts and just sort of soften that with either a brush or my finger. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of a bigger brush now, switching from my liner brush to either a flat brush or a filbert brush. You can use either one. We just wanna create a soft, hint of texture and leaves and snow up on these treetops and some at the base as well. Wherever you guys want, like I said, you can add as much snow as you want. Uh, it's up to you how much uh, white you wanna add and how bright you want your snow to look. Um, it, this painting um, will look nice either way, so it's completely up to you guys. Go ahead and add as much as you want. Now I've washed my brush off and I'm taking my scarlet red and a little bit of black and I'm gonna, be gonna begin this barn. So I'm gonna um, put it on an angle. So this really puts this barn on the angle it is. So you have to kind of go up. It's a rectangle I'm making here. And I'm just doing this freehand. It's really easy, guys. I recommend and 
um, advise you guys to approach your paintings freehand or sketch it out first, but I'm not crazy about traceables. I like to um, teach you guys how to do it, give you inspiration, motivation, and make you more of a confident painter. And I know you guys can do this. Um, so I'm just painting a rectangle on an angle like this. And this is kind of similar to the angle of our bridge that we painted um, with the truck going through in the Christmas tree in the back. So I'm going to do my shadows with black and sometimes I'm adding a little bit of red. So that's another thing. It's up to you how deep you want your shadows to be, how much of a contrast that you want. And then in some areas of the boards um, on this barn, I'm just using straight red. I'm painting wet on wet. So the colors are kind of always um, picking up one another and that helps to really make your structure and um, color blending look really natural. Now because this barn is far away, you don't have to worry about painting every single board. We're not going to see that. You're not going to have to worry about spacing everything out evenly either. It's just an old barn and this is the back view of the barn. So we're not going to see the doors, but there is going to be a tiny little window up in the loft. And you'll see how I do that. Just very simple. If you have a little flat brush, it makes it a lot easier to um, paint the lines and the for structures and buildings. Um, and we're going to add just a few little windows, faint suggestion of them off to the side, a little bit of white down on the bottom for the rest of the building, and then come in with our same colors here. We'll be adding a few more lines that go across, so the boards go vertical straight up and down, and then there's some lines that go horizontal, so you'll see that. We'll just continue along here, leaving some patches of... Um, white and blue down at the bottom. So I'm coming in with some shadows now. Not washing my brush off. I've always got a little bit of red in there with my black. So I'm going to define these lines a little bit so there's another line that goes on an angle right because of how this barn is situated the um, the angle the position of it we can see a little bit of the side so the top of the roof is narrower but it's like a long skinny rectangle and then I'm going to come in with more of my red and then black where I want to have that shadow right underneath the roof line. This having your shadows will make your structures look 3D. So it's really, really important to um, uh, not paint everything all the same color. If you don't have any shadows or highlights, your paintings will look very, very flat. So I'm gonna join those, the ends of the roof line and just add a line from one point all the way across to the other. I'm just going to make the roof line a little bit longer there on the right. And I'm going to paint the roof with titanium white right after I finish on this side. I'm just going to even out these lines a little bit more. And I'm going to go up and down pulling for some shadows and the indication of some boards. Again, not worrying or fussing about keeping them really even. I'm gonna come in with my brighter red. So I'm using um, a few different reds today. I've got crimson red, I've got scarlet red. I'm not using any of my neon red. I wanted this to be a little bit richer and a little bit more subdued. So um, you definitely don't need any neon paints today for this. I'm going to come in with a corner of my brush now, a little bit of my blue, and just add a little dab here and there for the inside of the window, and then a few little dabs here along the bottom. And 
and some more little lines right on the far side just for um, where we have some more windows older windows or little openings there we can't really see them but it's kind of nice just to have a little bit of a few little lines and and shapes going on there to let us know something's something's over there so now I'm going to come in with thick titanium white on the end of my brush and I'm going to just lightly pull and drag I'm going to outline softly bring some white in front that will help set that uh, barn in the background so it's nice to do that after you are finished your structure is just come in with a fresh clean coat of paint make sure that that's in front of the base of the barn and then I'm going to take more white and I'm going to finish this other side of the roof and I'm using quite a lot of paint to do this I really really like the way it looks um, kind of textured like and it kind of pops off the canvas And just play around with your barn make it your own guys if you want to add more windows if you want to add a, uh, the doors in the front make the make it the front this is the back of the barn and I kind of like this I like that it doesn't have um, the doors but you can definitely do that make it your own do what you want with it um, I'm just here to offer suggestions and hopefully inspire you guys I come in with some more white now as the paint sets in and dries uh, it can look a little bit darker so I'm gonna come in and add a little bit more white I don't want it to be completely even in the front I want to leave a little bit of that blue showing through so we've got those subtle um, highlights and shadows so taking both of my reds now I'm gonna apply some highlights very thinly just very little pressure just pulling and see how much it just pops out now I got a little bit of my light blue violet in there but I think that looks kind of cool I'm just gonna leave that I like those colors together you can see how how beautiful they complement each other in this painting the red with that light blue violet I was originally just gonna do a grayscale first and then just come in with um, the red barn or the red for the color um, but I really love um, light blue violet with red so I thought this might be something nice to show you guys for a combination of course you can do yours in black and white as well okay so adding the final details a little bit of shading on the roof thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you soon in my next video bye everybody